Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Shore. So today's tutorial is a little bit different where it's more of a inspired look and in showing you my creative process and kind of how I think and how you can yourself choose kind of an image and pull from it. This is pulling mostly color, a little bit feel, and then also within the kind of wearable requirement. So kind of how I took inspiration from this photo and then put it on my face to create this look. So if you'd like to join me for kind of a little talk through tutorial ish showing you how I do inspired look, then just keep on watching. So obviously I don't even know what like the intro was because this is really the start of the video. And we're going to be doing this picture right here. I wanted to start out with something that's a little more, I guess, it's a visual picture that we're going for and then my look, I'm gonna to try to make it more wearable. And as this series progresses, if you guys like it, then we can go more abstract. So for example, here's a picture of what I did for, that was Pacific Northwest inspired. So this image was a very broad theme. It was basically Pacific Northwest inspired and then I had to decide what does that mean to me and then how will I express that visually. So you can read on my blog kind of how I took it if you're interested, there's a link below. But basically I took the idea of the Pacific Northwest, what do I like about it, the summers. From the summers I then went to, oh I really like like the warm, I like late summer, I like warm, I like the trees, I love that it's green. And that came to the green of the trees, the dappled sunlight with the warm breezes, and that's basically what I tried to represent visually in this look. So that's a little more abstract, it's very broad, and so we're going to start with something a little more straightforward. So you can see we've got a lot of red, there's some pink, and then there's also some yellow and some orange. So I have all these colors set out that are similar, and I'm gonna kind of work from those. There's also some white. So, and I'm gonna keep it mostly to my eyes because I want this to be more wearable. So I'm just gonna kind of jump into it and let you guys kind of follow along my thought process. So first I'm just gonna apply a base shadow since I know like, you know, certain parts of this have to be, you know, actually makeup-y. So there's also some white, so I'm going to make sure I have some spot that's highlighted. I think I'm gonna do the inner corner with yellow. And then we also have so much red, so I really want this to be kind of about those red colors. It's also a little more kind of airy feeling with the way that they're layered together with the white over it. So I also wanna take kind of that airy feel as well. When you're taking inspiration from visual things, it's definitely nice to think about like what kind of feel does it have? And then you can choose to just take the color and be like, I wanna be just inspired by the color, or you can, you know, take it a little bit farther. So it has this kind of beigey background. I'm taking this color right here. This is Sora. This is the Manny MUA palette. So uh, I don't have like an exact dupe. And I'm just gonna start kind of mapping my shapes out. Um, I definitely think that the inner corner is where I'm gonna have the yellows and the whites. I also want to have a color here and I want the majority of my eye to be red. So right now I'm just adding kind of a winged shape to my outer corner. I'm also taking a bit of peach smoothie into that too. So I'm just getting my shapes basically placed and I'm blowing this out pretty far because I want just a lot of space to work because we are still keeping this wearable. So I like to decide that kind of before I start working is like, am I doing something that's gonna be something that I'm gonna be comfortable wearing out or are we doing more of kind of a body painting? Am I gonna have to get out face paints? Like, what are we working with? It's good to kind of figure that out. And you know, because we got all that red, I'm just gonna start out with some Flame Red by Benai uh, BTA Dubs. Um, this is not FDA approved for the eye area, so use at your own risk. And I want to make this still be like yellow, but the yellow turns kind of into orange. So I think I'm gonna have orange in this area, like not even on the lid, just this area, cause I kind of like that blotchy look. So I wanna have red on my outer corner. Okay, 
and I'm pulling it on my lower lash line and I think I'm gonna pull it all the way across. Again, when you're like, I kind of don't really know what I'm doing again when I do these, it's just kind of a jump into it. So this isn't gonna be like a normal tutorial or anything. If you ever wanna see kind of inspiration things, um, I love looking at like Behance, it's cool. You can definitely go on just Pinterest. I mean, there's so many things. There's tons of artists you can look at, both makeup artists and traditional artists on Instagram. Um, if you want, I'm gonna link my Pinterest down below because I definitely have a lot of kind of things that inspire me on there. So feel free to check it out, pinterest.com slash Rebecca K Shores. All right, I'm going to go in with Radon now. And obviously this is a really bright orange. So this is gonna be closer to where my yellow is gonna pop. And I'm just gonna place this just so I kind of know where I'm planning on putting the color. My looks definitely look more bizarre if you watch how I do the more like inspired looks because again, they, they're they not as like, you know, thought out as the other ones. So you just get to see my thought process. So now I'm gonna grab some of this Mars color, which is this more kind of a cherry red. Um, the cherry red doesn't show quite as much in like the painting, but again, because we're making this, you know, wearable, I have to choose things that are also going to be more flattering. Cause like if this wasn't gonna be a wearable look, I'd probably straight out get paints and be like doing more kind of almost paintbrush like strokes. Another thing that I noticed in the painting is the colors while they blend together with the white, they're pretty stark and different from each other. So the reds kind of blend with the reds and then the reds and the yellows are orange. So you see oranges separately from the reds and then the yellow is also separate. So I kind of want to keep my colors kind of almost blotchy so that you get kind of that same effect. And again, because it's makeup, obviously this looks like it is either acrylic or oil painted. And there's not obviously a lot of different finishes, but that's not as interesting in makeup. So again, it's inspired, you're not copying. So take your own artistic liberties. So I'm going to use some of World Eater, which I mean, look at this, it's gorgeous. Um, red, and this has a shimmer to it. And I'm gonna just pop this right here. Cause I do still wanna, you know, give some dimension to the eye, not only with shape, but also with texture. So even though you're makeuping and not painting, you need to kind of keep the makeup side. Keep thinking about it. Yeah, actually, I'm liking how this has gone so far. So I'm taking a little bit of Sugar Pills, their Flame Point. Um, I know I'm using a lot of like makeup in this, like a lot of colors. You definitely don't have to. And again, this is more to give you a tool so that you can take looks or paintings or things and then make them your own. I more wanna give you the tools than actually make this like a tutorial for you to try to copy. Um, Copying's great and obviously that's what like tutorials are for. It's so you can recreate them exactly. But I wanna give you the tools to then you know, go and create things on your own that are all yours. Even though they're like inspired, but they're not like a copy. So I just pulled flame point all down through there. I'm gonna blend this more into the red. So just kind of tapping and then pushing. So I think I'm gonna kind of finish off this outer edge so now I can go play more in here. I'm going to take more of my straight up flame red by Ben Nye because I want, I just want it more red red. So I'm going a little bit kind of over the Mars color. I want to leave Mars still as kind of like a crease color because it's a little more burgundy. Um, obviously this painting has colors that are traditionally not worn on the eyes for makeup. But that's okay. I am still going to add a little bit of transition. And so I'm gonna use Chickadee by Makeup Geek because there is a bit of orange 
and I think that's going to transition the nicest into my skin. So yeah, you kind of are always balancing your inspiration photo and how much you want to like stay true to what you've seen the photo and then your own things that you want to just create on your own and then also thinking about it like in makeup. Because obviously you could take this photo and just maybe take red with a little bit of yellow and orange and just do like a winged liner and it could still be inspired by this photo because it's what inspired you even though it wouldn't have quite as many elements of your inspiration. So out, I like when my colors kind of, you know, tie back. Um, that's something I also would do in painting. So if I had like one little blotch of something over here, I would have a little bit maybe over here. So if there's a color one place, I would make sure it kind of showed up somewhere else just to balance. And it's definitely something I do with makeup. So I want to just pop a little bit of that in there. And I think that balances my eye better. So now I'm gonna go in with even more of this radon color and just pop it right there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Casino because it's that kind of yellowy gold color to be kind of my yellow. I think I'm gonna put actual yellow too, but again, I wanna add something with a bit of dimension. And so this has some shimmer to it. coming together nicely. It's another thing when I do inspired looks and I'm being like, okay, this is something. And it's more like, I guess, a visual inspiration. When I was doing like the Pacific Northwest, like you can't, I guess, tell me that it doesn't look inspired because it's more like a feeling. That's definitely something I would love to do if you guys are interested. Um, I loved doing paintings when we were supposed to do like feelings. So like once it was like a really just kind of gross day outside and it was raining and we we're supposed to paint our feelings about rain and so it was so interesting to see like I don't like the rain and so like what I felt to rain being kind of like cold and damp and you're stuck inside and just kind of like but when like other people that love the rain like the way that they their moods and their paintings are so different so I would love to do something like that with you guys. I would love to do if we could somehow make this a like collaborative or maybe have a hashtag or something so I can see if we did those type of mood ones. And it would be really cool to see other people's too, just because everyone's going to have different, like we're all individuals and we have our own life experiences and my experience or my feelings about one thing may be completely opposite of yours because we just live such different lives and just, you know, we're all individuals. So it's really interesting to see those types of things expressed through art. And your makeup can definitely be just a medium for art. All right, so you can see I have some yellow going on. I am still gonna grab a little bit of neon, and this is by Melt, and pop that in there as well. Since the, it's a pretty yellow in the painting. And I'm going to push this kind of into that orangey red color we have going on so they kind of meet. But I'm going to pat more than straight up blend together since I, again, want to keep them separate so they're a little more like the painting. And now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Mars and just kind of, you know, a little more dimension and a little more red because some of my areas aren't very saturated and I just... That's a lot more color. All right, so now you see how I kind of tied it into the rest of the face. So obviously I've kept most of the color at my eyes, but I want to get that white on my face somewhere so that we can still kind of, you know, stay true to that. So I'm going to use Pearl by Becca. Um, I am going to go in with a little bit of Gleaming Gardenia. Yeah, we're just gonna highlight the brow bone even though it's, I usually don't like to use shimmers on my brow because of my hooded eyes. And then in terms of a flush, I wanna kinda keep with the chickadee as our transition kind of color. So I'm going to be using this color right here. This is Smitten by Makeup Geek. And I'm using a Bogache contour brush to apply it. And I'm gonna keep it pretty close to my actual eye area. So I'm kind of applying to my temples, blending it upwards, and then 
from there I'll blend downwards more towards my cheeks. Since the painting is very analogous, you have red, orange, and yellow only, I'm gonna keep my face analogous as well. I'm gonna pop on some lashes real quick because I'm thinking that's half the reason why I feel kind of like my eyes are looking odd. I definitely like to look at my look before I just pop on lashes. And I'm going to go for the siren lashes. So I'm gonna keep my lips nude because there is like that whole background that's just kind of like a plain color. So that's why I sell beige tribute. Super pretty color. Hate the formula. I think I've talked about this before. And then I want them to be a little bit lighter in the center, so I'm going in with a bit of MAC Myth. All right, so this is going to complete the look. It's fun. I actually really liked how it turned out. Whenever I do these inspired looks, I honestly like, I mean, you saw this process where I don't really know where it's going until it kind of comes together at the end. But I like this, definitely into it. It's nice and sunny today, so it's gonna fit that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these like inspired looks where I'll actually show you what I'm taking inspiration from and then you kind of learn and watch me create the look, give me a thumbs up and type it in the comments box below because I thought this was kind of fun. If you guys are into this, we'll do more. So give me some feedback. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see or you would like me to change. Definitely put that in the down box below. I'm definitely looking for feedback on my content. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you'll join me again. New videos go up every Tuesday and Friday. So make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. See you later.